Alright, so we're over here off of Eagle Road and we were just playing soccer over here and I was walking along the building over here to get to the parking lot and I noticed this swarm of bees they hadn't even landed yet they were just swarming around I tried to figure out where they were at and as you can see they're right here landing on the tree so I'm going to try to get up there and see if I can't find the queen get her in a queen clip and then get her down into the box once that happens hopefully they'll all fall the rest of them pretty cool to catch it this is uh one reason why to always be prepared for swarm season had a ladder and a bee box in the car with me and so I'm prepared a little bit of lemongrass oil and hopefully we can get the girls down in there see what happens Hey Chris, they're starting to ball up at the top of the tree. Are they? Yep. Oh, they sure are. Okay, Here's just a further back video of where they're at. They were right here out in the middle of the grassy area swarming up here. And then they were checking out these both these uh, these large trees here. There is some bees still flying around checking this one out, but I think that they've uh, settled over here on this tree. And as you can see, it's about 20 feet up, 25 feet up in the air. That's a pretty large swarm up there. I think they've settled in right there. So. I got some of the bees in the bucket that I shook out. They know where the, or I'm sorry, in the, the hive, so they know where the hive's at. Hopefully they'll go up there and say, hey, come on down, check out this place down here. But in the meantime, I'm going to go get my bump bucket and see if I can't bump them out of the tree. So we got very limited time right now, so I'm going to just give it one shot, get the, most of the bees in there, and then I'm going to have to leave it and see what happens. So we'll see. We'll see what happens once I get the bump bucket here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I knocked him out of the tree, put him in the bucket, set the bucket down right in front. You can't see it as much right now, but they march right in there. It's pretty cool. I don't know that I have the queen yet. We're going to keep trying here. I'm going to say that this is probably about 7 to 10 pounds of bees. There is a lot of them here. This is the second bucket load that I've put in. They seem to be taking okay to the hive. I'm going to leave it here overnight and come back in the morning and pick it up. I've got a couple more bumps to do. What I'm going to do is just come right underneath them right here and getting them that way. Give it a couple more tries and see if we can't get most of them in here. That's what Dad just caught. This kitchen gate. Um, bump bucket swarm. And he's busy doing that. Well, we are going to go get something for him to use. Let's just hope he can get the swarm before he has to leave at 4 to go back to work.
and Mother's Happy Mother Day. All right, so we've been out here for, oh, I'd say about 20 minutes. I've bumped the bees about, oh, I don't know, four or five times out of the tree. There's the front of the hive, right, right there. <laughs> um, most of them look like they're taken to the box pretty well, but I'm still a little concerned because up top in the tree, if I can get it in there, we still have a little bit of bees up top. So, uh, this was a great opportunity to buy a new tool. I've been wanting a new tool for swarm caching for a while now, and I just haven't justified a need for it. This is actually the first time that I got to use my bump bucket. It's pretty cool. It's a 24-foot uh, paint pole with a bucket attached to the top. Um, no special tools. It's just a, um, I went to one of the big box stores and and cut a hole in the bottom of the bucket and figured out how to put it on top of the pole. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, go to your hardware store and ask them if you're not quite sure how to do it. Or maybe I'll do an episode uh, later on how to put together a bump bucket. But the new tool that I, I just haven't had a justification to need is a 16-foot um, uh, a, a lopper to cut the branches off. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to do right now. So I sent my wife over to buy me one of those from a big box store that's uh, literally about 500 yards away from where we're at right now. And she should be back quick. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that branch right out of the tree, remove that pheromone that's on the branch, get it down onto the ground, put it in front of the hive, and I think that will be money. And then we'll get the rest of them. I'm gonna leave it here till early morning and I'll come back and pick it up in the morning and put it back in my apiary. These particular bees are gonna go uh, be between Boise and Mountain Home, uh, kinda out in the, the plains area out there uh, to one of the Southwest Idaho natural beekeeping uh, members uh, that, that just has had a difficult time getting bees this year just because there isn't a whole lot in her location. So that's where those are gonna go. And maybe I'll have a little bit more video here coming up of trying to get that branch cut out of the tree. And uh, pretty simple so far. Bump bucket worked really well, other than I had to bump it three, four times. Actually, it was probably more like five or six times. Makes the bees a little angry, um, but it, it's a way to get up there, knock them out of the tree. A lot of them did hit the ground, and they immediately found the hive, so uh, that was a bonus. So we'll come back to you in just a little bit with that, uh, with that lopper and see if I can't cut that out of the tree. We'll see you then. And here's my lovely assistant. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks. <laughs> it's actually Saturday, tomorrow's Mother's Day, but I get some time to hang out with her. That's pretty cool. Um, my lovely assistant going and getting me some tools. So thank you. You're welcome. You owe me. Thanks for supporting my <laughs> habits. You owe me. See what I get for trying to help a church out and get bees out of their tree. Now I owe her. Okay, cool. All right, here. So here's my new tool. Uh, send the wife to the store to get me my new uh, cut pole or uh, uh, lopper pole. She did really good. It has a saw that attaches to it, so you can saw. And on the on the portion right here, it also has a lopper portion, so that you can just lop them right off by pulling the cord. So that's pretty cool. It's a double use. Um, see how it works. I'm going to try to cut those bees right out of the top of that tree, trying to get that stick on the ground and get the rest of those bees into the hive.
again and I'll get up there with the bucket and I'll have you trim it. So anyhow, yeah, this is just a wrap up of what we did here. We got this swarm out of the tree with my lovely wife and assistant, Julie. You're welcome. Thank you for your help. Um, I was crunched for time because I got to get back off to work right now. So I uh, just wanted to show, we got most of them in the hive right there. I'm going to leave them in the grass until about 7.30 in the morning. I'm going to come back out and get them out of here before church starts Sunday morning. And I uh, just put an orange warning on top of it so people will see it a little bit more readily. And uh, that way kids don't trip over or whatever. So anyhow, successful swarm. Uh, I did get stung twice, but I think it's just because I was a little rough with them. And uh, I had to bump them out of the tree uh, five, six different times. And then I finally cut the branch and got it down to the ground. After I got it down to the ground in front of the hive, it was no problem. Shook that branch and they all went in there. And then I just put the branches over that way by that next tree out of the way so that they wouldn't get attracted back to those branches again. So anyhow, it's a successful swarm on a Saturday afternoon. I hope your swarm season's doing as well as mine is. This was awesome. Walking right straight through a swarm and finding my own swarm. Right after our kids' soccer games on our way home. Yeah. My excitement was like a giddy schoolgirl. It's a swarm! It's a swarm! Honey, give me the box! Anyhow, I'm Chris with Verkirk's Urban uh, Homestead and Beekeeping and my lovely assistant, Julie. We'll see you next time. Bye. Snot out of my nose.